Hi everybody, Mark here from Illawarra Education Foundation. Welcome to today's student tutorial video on trading the decomposition method or just the regular method of trading that we teach in New South Wales schools. So before we start today's lesson, please make sure that you've printed the student tutorial um, worksheet that goes with this video. Please also make sure you have a pencil ready. Uh, if you need to download this, please go to our website. The address is on the screen and um, we'll get started. I'm actually going to be going through this with you with the concrete material. We'll be going fairly quickly. You'll notice that I have a column at each question. Please go through it now before we start. Estimate all your answers and you can then check your estimates when we find the real answer to see if you're on track or not. So let's look at question A. 870 take away 385. You can see here I've got it out in concrete material. Please follow along. As we actually work out through the concrete material, we'll also work through the question. As I said earlier, please make sure that as I write on the board, please follow on at home. So the first thing we say is zero, take away five, we can't do. So what we need to do is we need to trade one of these tens for ten ones. So we now have 60, not 70. Cross it out right on the top. We're going to bring that 10 that I took off and bring it over to the ones column. You can see here. So now we have 10 take away five, five. Write five in the ones column. Six, take away eight. 60 take away 80. Can't do. So let's trade 100 for 10 tens, which is also 100. And we'll bring that 100 from the hundreds column to the tens column. We now have seven hundreds and an extra 10 tens. We now have 16 tens, take away eight tens, eight tens. Four, eight. And now, 700 take away 300, 400. The answer, 485. Check your estimate. Question B, 470 take away 209. So the first thing we ask is zero, take away nine we can't do, so let's trade 10, one tens for 10 ones. So we now have 60, not 70, and bring that 10 across to here. 10 take away 9 is 1. 60 take away nothing, 60. And 400 take away 200 is 200. Answer, 261. Check your estimate. Question C. 348, take away 279. 8 take away 9, can't do. So let's trade. 10 for 10 ones. We now have 3 tens and 18 ones. 18 take away 9 is 9. Three take away seven we can't do. Let's trade one of the hundreds for ten tens. We now have thirteen tens take away seven tens. Thirteen take away seven is six. And two take away two is zero. Answer. 69. Check that against your estimate. Question D. 900 take away 533. Now before we start we need to do two uh, methods of the trading because we can't actually borrow from the tens column. So let's go all the way across but remember everybody you can't move from the hundreds straight across to the ones. You need to just move to the next one then you do it again to the ones column. So we trade 100 for 10 tens. 
We now have 800 and 10 tens. Then we trade a 10 for 10 ones. Cross out the 10, write nine. And now we can actually do this really easily. 10 take away three is seven. Nine take away three is six. And eight take away five is three. I've run out of concrete material. Answer, 367. Check your estimate. Question E, 770 take away 299. Zero take away nine we can't do, so let's trade a 10 for 10 ones. We now have six tens, 10 ones. 10 take away nine is one. Six take away nine we can't do, let's trade 100 for 10 tens. We now have 616 uh, tens take away nine tenths. 16 take away nine, seven. And six take away two, is four. Answer 471. Check your estimate. So now let's try some four digit number numbers taking away some three and four digit numbers as well. So Question F, we have 1,000 take away 521. Zero take away one we can't do. So we need to go all the way across to the thousands column and trade all the way across. Just like that. So now we have 10 take away one is nine. Nine take away two is seven. 9 take away 5 is 4, and of course 0 take away 0. Answer, 479. Check your estimate. Question G, 2,882 take away 1,299. 2 take away 9 we can't do. 12 take away 9 is 3. 7 take away 9 we can't do. Trade, we now have 700, and we bring those 10 across to the 10s, 10 10s. 10, we now have 17, take away 9, it's 8. 7 take away 2, 5, and 2 take away 1 is 1. Answer 1,583. One more to go, check your estimate. Question H, we have 6,008 take away 558. 8 take away 8 is 0. And now 0 take away 5, I can't do, I need to trade all the way into the thousands column. Bring 1,000 into the ten hundreds. Trade the ten hundreds. We now have 10 tens, now we can work it out. 10 take away 5 is 5. 9 take away 5 is 4. And 5 take away 0 is 5. Answer. 5,450. How did you go? So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. You'll see at the bottom of the worksheet that you've been filling in with me, it says, how did you go? To test your understanding, go and complete the worksheet that is on IEF's website. Now that worksheet is this one here. The title is Trading Decomposition Method Sheet 1. There are eight new questions here I'd like you to go and do independently and the answers are down here on the bottom. So before you start, fold the uh, bottom of the sheet up so that you're not tempted to look at them. Please estimate before you um, work through the problem. If you are still having a little bit of trouble, please check out my longer video which is really designed for teachers and homeschool parents. But anyone can look at it and I actually slowly go through this system um, for you again. So thank you so much for watching today's uh, tutorial. Please subscribe, show support for this so that I can continue to make more videos and please feel free to go and look at our website as well. Thanks for watching.